You know, the electric vehicle world is getting pretty crowded, right? It feels like a new startup pops up every week, but one company has been doing things, well, differently, quietly, methodically. This isn't a story about flashy marketing, nope. This is a story about pure engineering and how a company called Leap Motor is using technology to completely redefine what a flagship car even is. So how did this engineering-obsessed company that you've probably barely heard of become a global force? Let's get into it. Okay, first, let me just throw a number at you. 400,000. In just the first nine months of the year, Leap Motor shipped almost 400,000 vehicles. That's a lot. This isn't some niche player we're talking about. This is a company moving metal at a massive scale, and believe me, they are just warming up. So where does that massive number actually put them on the world stage? Well, get this. That performance makes Leap Motor the seventh largest new energy vehicle brand on the entire planet. They're ahead of dozens of names you definitely know a lot better. Which brings up the big question, how on earth did they do this, seemingly out of nowhere? And the answer really comes straight from the top. The founder and CEO, Zhu Jiangming, put it perfectly. He says, I am an engineer myself. He doesn't see Leap Motor as a car company. He sees it as a technology company that just happens to build cars. And honestly, that one shift in thinking, it's the key to everything. So if their success isn't built on splashy TV commercials or viral marketing campaigns, what is their secret sauce? What's their unique advantage? Well, it all comes down to a pretty radical approach to R&D. Look at this number. It's kind of staggering. If you don't count their factory workers, 80% of Leap Motor's entire staff are R&D people. Just let that sink in for a second. The huge majority of their team isn't focused on selling cars, they're focused on inventing the future of them. And that army of engineers lets them do this thing they call full-stack in-house R&D. It sounds a little technical, but the idea is simple. While a lot of car brands are basically just assemblers, you know, buying parts from here, there, and everywhere, Lee Motor designs and builds 65% of the most important components themselves. It's like how Apple designs its own chips for the iPhone. It gives them total control. Leap Motor is doing that for cars. And doing things this way creates this incredible, powerful cycle. First, as you can see, their innovation is just lightning fast. They took a brand new, super powerful computer chip from an idea to full production in only six months. That's, that's unheard of if you're working with outside suppliers. Second, it gives them insane control over their costs. And third, and this is the part that matters to you, all those savings, all that crazy innovation, it gets passed directly to the customer as more features and just better value. So all of that intense in-house engineering had to lead somewhere big, right? Well, here it is. It's their newest creation, the D platform. This is the technological foundation, the very heart of all their most ambitious cars from here on out. Now, the D platform starts by going after the single biggest fear for anyone even thinking about buying an EV range anxiety. But Leap Motor's solution isn't just to make it a little better, it's to make it a complete non-issue. Just look at this comparison. This isn't your typical hybrid. It's what's called an extended range electric vehicle or EREV. And check out that battery size, a whopping 80.3 kilowatt hours. That's more than double what you'd find in a normal hybrid. And what does that mean? It means you get 500 kilometers of pure electric range. For 99% of your daily life, this thing is a pure EV. The little gas engine is basically just a backup generator for total peace of mind on a long road trip. Oh, and it's got 800 volt fast charging, which is something you usually only see on really high-end expensive EVs. But hey, a modern flagship is about more than just how far it can go. It has to be smart. And for that, you need a seriously powerful brain. And the D platform? It's the first in the world to pack this new generation of processing power. So, instead of one ship, the D platform uses two of the new Qualcomm 8797s. And just look at this chart. This shows you the performance jump compared to the chip that's the current standard in a lot of premium smart cars. We're talking two and a half times the CPU power, almost three times the graphics power, and an absolutely insane 11 times the AI processing power. This is the kind of horsepower you need for truly advanced self-driving features down the line. So you've got this supercomputer of a brain, and what's it controlling? A chassis that honestly has parts you'd expect to see on a supercar. We're talking a front double wishbone suspension for amazing handling, paired with a dual chamber air suspension. They actually call it a magic carpet because it uses cameras to scan the road ahead and adjust the suspension for bumps before you hit them. It creates this unbelievably smooth ride. This is just pure engineering focused on the driver's experience. So, 
We have this incredible platform, right? A solution to range anxiety, a brain from the future, and a chassis built for ultimate comfort. Now let's finally see the vehicle where it all comes together, the flagship D19 SUV. Leap Motor's own description for the D19 leaves zero room for doubt. The top of the top spec, the flagship of flagships. I mean, they're not trying to compete with other flagships here. They're trying to redefine the whole category. And the featureless, well, it shows they're dead serious. We're talking fully flush side windows for a super quiet, sleek look. The taillight is almost two meters long and has over 10,000 LEDs, so you can create your own light shows. And inside, it gets even crazier with stuff you can't even see, like a medical grade oxygen system and 14 different pieces of acoustic glass just to make the cabin as silent as a sanctuary. And look, even though they make so much themselves, they know where to partner up to get the best of the best. The batteries are from Cat TL, tires are from Michelin, and crucial systems are from giants like Bosch and Continental. It's a real no compromise kind of approach. So, what does this all mean for the rest of the car industry? When you put it all together, the D19 isn't just a new SUV. It's a statement. It's a whole new definition of what a flagship car can be, and maybe what it should be. So here's the big takeaway. For decades, a flagship car was defined by its brand name, its heritage, and a really long list of expensive options. Luxury was basically determined by how much money you spent. Leap Motors model just flips that whole idea on its head. For them, a flagship is defined by how good its technology is. All that amazing tech we just talked about, it's not optional, it's standard. Luxury isn't a price tag anymore, it's the value and the experience you get. And that leaves us with this really fascinating question for the future of, well, the entire car industry. For so long, the badge on the front of the car was the ultimate symbol of luxury. But when companies like Leap Motor prove that you can deliver superior technology and a premium experience without that historical price tag, it makes you wonder. When technology becomes the true measure of luxury, what is a brand name really worth?